Take me through what it's like to put the USA Hockey uniform back on just a few weeks, really, after taking it off for for the last time here at the NTDP. Yeah, no, I mean it's uh, it's exciting, you know. I mean every every chance you get to represent your country, it's always it's always humbling, and uh, I mean it's an awesome experience. So, I um, mean, you know, being able to get back and see all the guys, it's it's a great it's a great time, you know. Yeah. I mean, we were we were a tight group, and, and having to leave each other was tough. So, I mean, any chance we can get back together and, and have a little bit of fun together is always nice. I mean, you've been having fun on the score sheet too. You've had a lot of success here. What do you uh, What do you credit that to? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I've just been uh, been skating a lot this summer. You know, really yeah. kind of working on my shot and um, everything that kind of goes along with that. So, I um, mean, I've been traveling out to Syracuse quite a bit. You know, to skate and um, I've had a couple of advisory camps as well. So, I mean, just kind of working hard on this off season and then trying to improve. Take me through draft night and that whole experience of of getting to the rink, not knowing where your future is going to be, and then to lock in and put that sweater on for the first time. Yeah, no, I mean it was uh, it was nerve wracking for sure. You know, I mean you don't really know if if you're going to be taken on that first day yeah. with me, and um, you know I I was confident, you know that uh, that somebody you know would be able to see my abilities and, and my my potential, and uh, I mean you know take take the leap of faith and, and take me. So um, you know I think at the end of the day it was it was exciting. You know I was I was able to share it with my my friends and family, and um, I mean once my name was called, it was it was surreal. You know I mean it's, it's a childhood dream just to hear your name called to the NHL draft, and I mean. To be picked like an, by an organization such as the B Bruins, I mean it's it's unbelievable. You know, I mean it was kind of just a whirlwind kind of couple of days afterwards, and uh, I mean I, I couldn't be happier. What have you made of the organization so far, and uh, and what was it like kind of meeting everybody once you knew okay this is going to be my future in the next mm -hmm. few years? Yeah, no, I mean they're they're world class. You know, I mean they uh, they brought us in for development camp a couple of days after, and I mean they just made everything so easy yeah. for us. You know, I mean their staff everywhere from you know the owner down to you know the the guys that are cooking us food every day and, and doing their jobs as as best as they can. I mean it's they they have as much success as they have for a reason. You know, I mean everybody's pulling their weight around there and. Uh, I mean, they're they're unbelievable people. You know, yeah. I mean, it was it was a great time. You know, getting out in Boston and meeting all of them. And uh, I mean, I can't wait to get back. Have you got any tips from some of the maybe the older guys that were at BU or BC that came through this program and mm -hmm. and just some advice about life in Boston, maybe off the ice? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I've always just heard how great of a city it is. You know, I mean, you see the support that they get from their fans and, and everybody from throughout the city. And um, I mean, it's just it's a lot of fun there. You know, I mean, there's so much to do, and uh, I mean, there's such a rich history, and I mean, they're only going up from here. So. When you uh, when you look at everybody that's at this rink this week and and the talent from across the world that's mm -hmm. here, do you pinch yourself sometimes to know that you are competing against the best and you are succeeding against the best in the world? Yeah, no, I mean it's it's pretty crazy sometimes. You know, I think if, you know for for a bunch of us, you know, coming from the program, it's just kind of normal life sometimes. Yeah. But I mean, I think sometimes you do kind of sit back and, and kind of realize what you're doing and uh, I mean, kind of the, the scheme of things and, and how important it really is. You know, so I mean, it's. It's an honor to be able to just be picked for something like this, you know. I mean, to be able to represent your country and, and play alongside some of these guys. So, I mean, it's it's been a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. You ready to be a college student? I am. Yeah, <laughs> it'll uh, it'll be a good time. I mean, I got over to Ann Arbor a couple times throughout the past year. I mean, it's it's a beautiful city, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a great school, and um, I mean, can't really get any better than Yost to play a hockey game. So, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. How much are you maybe looking forward to everything that comes with being a college athlete? Mm -hmm. Because on Saturdays, man, I mean, football takes over on campus. You're yeah. going to be busy working, but I'm sure you'll take yeah. taking some football, right? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I actually uh, I was fortunate enough to get over to a game this past year. and I mean, just to see the atmosphere there and, yeah. you know, see what they're all about. It was unbelievable. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely soak in everything I can with my time there and uh, really enjoy it. How much does it help to have guys like Cam go there with you and, and, and to know a few of the guys within the program that that will maybe ease that in for you as a young guy? Yeah, no, I mean, it's awesome. You know, being able to pick up Yorkie kind of as a, a late addition, I guess. You know, it was, it was huge for us. You know, a lot of help on the back end. And um, you know, I'm actually going to end up rooming with him. So, I mean, nice. he's, yeah, I mean, he's a great guy. And, uh, I mean, we're going to have a lot of fun together. So, um, I mean, just be able to have a guy like that on your team, you know, it's it's – it's extremely nice, you know, both on and off the ice. Just, you know, the, the culture that he'll, he'll bring to our locker room. And, you know, I mean, he'll, he'll help us have a lot of success. Do you, do you set a mark for yourself and say, okay, I'm, I'm there one year and, and then it's on, it's on to the Bruins that signed the entry deal? Or do, you, do you try to put a number on how long you'll be in Ann Arbor? Not necessarily. You know, I think the biggest thing for me is just kind of taking it one day at a time. You know, I think at the end of the day, it's just going to kind of come down to when I'm ready and when they need me. So, uh, I mean, whether if that's one year or four years, you know, I mean, that's what I'll do. And, uh, I mean, I'll just kind of take my time there and, and try to just get, you know, as, as much out of it as I can. Good stuff, dude. Great seeing you. Nice to see you as well.